Hi everybody. Uh, so today is a splendid unboxing day. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't. I just kind of messed that whole thing up, but we're gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. It's a splendid unboxing today because I just received in my mail my April <laughs> threaded canvas box, and I will note that today is May 11th, and I am just today receiving my. April uh, threaded canvas because that's just how threaded canvas rolls. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, threaded canvas is a subscription box for people who like art and t-shirts. It's uh, you get like three t-shirts in the box and an art print and some other things, and uh, it's for like twenty something, twenty dollars, twenty five dollars a month. I don't think I have yet known exactly what the price is in any of the videos I have done where I have unboxed them. But anyway, it is an unsponsored unboxing because I pay for these because I totally like them and without further ado. So here's the box for this month and I will note that uh, in the past whenever they have the sticker on the outside which today looks like a vulture which is altogether very pleasant uh, they normally had the date right underneath here and I'm wondering if they didn't be like hmm maybe we should stop putting the date on there whenever the April box is arriving halfway through May. Maybe that's what they're thinking, but anyway, this is the first time that they've not had the 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 date under here in the last three months. Uh, and so far, my experience has been that one month, because uh, this is I've only done it for three months. So the first month, the image that was right here, I got a T-shirt with that image on it, and the second month, not so much. However, last month, I'm going to start opening while I talk it. Uh, the March box, I ended up getting two t-shirts that were the same and I didn't get my third t-shirt. Upon many, many, I shouldn't say many, many, I emailed them a couple of times and then I called them about it and then it wasn't until after I had called them about it, which was my last resort because I don't like talking to people on the phone because I'm so shy, you know? Uh, but after I had called them about it and got it, I had to leave an something, I had to leave a message or something on uh, the, a voicemail sort of thing, that they finally emailed me and said that they were sending my missing shirt this month. So maybe in this box, I might have four t-shirts, one of them being my missing shirt from last month. And then I still have my extra duplicate shirt from last month that was probably my least favorite shirt that I've gotten so far. And I don't even wear the one that I, okay, so anyway. Whatever. Okay, so I just opened the box and I look in here and this is what I see, which is quite obviously a shirt. All right, so that's nothing too fancy whenever it's not like, whoa, whenever you open the box. And it, actually my first month it kind of was because they were three kind of rolled up shirts and so you could see all three of them at the same time and that was pretty cool, but I feel like they're getting lazy or maybe they just get way too many shirt orders now. So, so yeah, so maybe they just have to shove them in a box and get going. So my first shirt here is like a light gray. It's like a light heather gray. And and it's got a feather on it. Uh, it's kind of a very tiny feather and it's kind of uh, off center kind of weird but the image itself is kind of cool because then it's like it's like a peacock feather but there's palm trees in there Hi, that was weird it's weird whenever you are 31 years old and you still have your parents interrupting you sometimes anyway <laughs> person at the door was my dad uh so anyway talking about this shirt <clears throat> uh so so there's like palm trees in the peacock feathers and i love peacock feathers but there's something real i mean Obviously, it's a big shirt because I'm a big person, but it's a very tiny image on a very big shirt. And so it's going to make me feel like I am a very, very giant person with a very tiny feather on it. I don't think I like that threaded canvas. I don't think I like this shirt very much at all. And it's kind of off center. I, I don't know. And there's like little dashes up here from like when so you see like these tiny little dots those are screen printed on too so it's like somebody drew this and had dashes on the top of their image and just they left it on there I don't know I don't know I don't know if I like it at all okay next shirt is red and it's like a heather red 
uh, which I don't hate at all. And these shirts are pretty soft right now. I feel like last, the last couple of months, they were much thicker shirts. Let me see. I have the other shirt. Hold on. Before we look at that one, this is, this is the shirt that we got last month. The duplicate that I don't really like that much. And this was a Gildan Heavy Cotton, Gildan Heavy Cotton with the tearaway label. And then this gray one that feels thinner. This is, oh, no, same thing. Gildan Heavy Cotton Tearaway Label. All right, I'm wrong. Sorry, thought they were different feeling, but they're not. Again, same shirt. Made in Nicaragua. Oh, oh I was like, no, that's boring. On this side, okay. Oh, <laughs> I like it very much. Okay, it's a big ferocious bear. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so um, my husband kind of associates himself with a bear, so that's just the whole backstory of why I might be a little overwhelmed by the bareness of it all. But I love it. Oh my god. He's like ferocious and angry, and I'm totally wearing this forever and ever and ever. Okay, I don't care if the peacock feather one sucks, because this one's awesome. Actually, I kind of feel like they know me right now. Because the peacock feathers, like that my wedding was peacock feathers, not that that was an original idea by any stretch of the imagination because, you know, peacock feathers is like everybody's wedding thing anymore. But first I get a peacock feather with the island thing and that's like what we do. Like our family vacations are always to the Caribbean and to islands and stuff. And now I've got a bear t-shirt that's red. That's totally my husband. Okay. I don't know what this next shirt could be that could be any more awesome and totally me. Even though the peacock feather, I feel like logistically is a problem, but I don't really care. I'm completely okay right now. One shirt in this box that is awesome is all I need. Okay, so last shirt is black. And I would like to note, there are not four shirts in this here box. So I'm gonna have to contact them again about my minst missing Winston the Bear shirt. And I'm a little pissed off about that. Frankly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little pissed off. I'm gonna have to email more people. Okay, so black, 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 blackity black. Oh, well, he's special. I don't know if I love him, love him, but he's pretty special. It's a lion. Dandy lion. You see? It's a lion. It's like Mufasa. Mufasa and some dandelions. See? Cool, huh? Uh, not bad. I mean, that's... It's screen printed in a gray that you can tell once I put it next to my white. It's obviously a gray. Uh, I think I would have liked it more if it was for green printed in white, just because I can do more with that, but I do have some gray that I can work with. So I kind of love him. Definitely wear it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm really, really pleased that I didn't end up with, with a vulture shirt, because that would not have gone on my gone very well in my closet okay so next I'm gonna pull out the card where it tells me about what I've got uh, so the shirts let's see uh, the tropic feather by studio one uh, was a retail value of $25 off limits tea which would be the bear off limits <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry I'm in a weird place in my head right now that was uh by Lou Patrick McKay Dandelion Tea by Anthony Aves. Aves. Those are each $25 a piece. And then next is a uh, a print. So if you have, aren't familiar with it, you get the three t-shirts and then you get some other artsy things. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but that's true. I'll tell you the true story right now. Okay, so next is the art print. And this is Derelict Homestead in the Country Side by Rosario Rizzo. Okay. Uh... Well, I would call that a very accurate name for what this is. So, derelict, derelict homestead in the countryside. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so uh, abandoned looking house type thing with a planet here and another planet here, moony type things. Although this one has a little bit of a like a spaceship kind of feel, like it's a an artificial thing. There's a bird. There's a tree. There's a lot happening in here. There's some wildflowers. It's kind of nice. I don't know. It's this, it's a strange thing. I don't hate it. 
Not something I would normally hang on my wall, but I could dig it. I don't know. It's colorful, you know, so it's not just sad because I kind of feel sad. I feel sad, but it's not totally sad. It's all right. 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 Okay. And I'm noting here, and this is weird, you know, the feather with those little dashes that I was talking about. Look at this. There's one there. And one there. And one there. And then I go over here. And there's one there. And there's one there. Is that just the weirdest thing ever? Little dashy dashes all over the place? I don't know. I'm looking out. I'm looking for more dashy dashy things all over the place. Okay, so the rest of the things. I also get a tiger button. Watch out, tiger button. He's pretty cool. I mean, he's totally ferocious. He's got a very uh, Japanese tattoo thing glare. Horrible, horrible glare. Can you watch out? Nope. Okay, there, yeah, he's got a Japanese tattoo kind of feel to him. Red and aqua, that's that's exactly the colors that are on there, so don't think that that's misrepresentation of my camera. It's He's a red and aqua tiger, but uh, he's totally cool. Just, you know, if you dig that sort of thing. Harbor Composition Postcard by Boyan Dimitrov. And this one's actually very nice. It's a little sailboat painting on a postcard. And... It's kind of a legit postcard, you know, it's got this stamp spot and then, you know, where you would supposed to be write something, there's just, you know, a big picture so that you can't write anything because who needs to write things on postcards? You just send it. But I think that's kind of cool. Actually, it matches my bedroom here uh, pretty good, so I'm happy with that guy. And then I've got a Galactic Wishes bookmark by Studio One. And... See that? So it's like dandelion, which is the wishes part of it. And I'm guessing, so it looks like they took a silhouette of a dandelion and inserted uh, like spaceness in into that space. And then there's more on the backside. So it's very like, uh, why am I saying amoeba? I feel like I'm going to say amoeba, but it's not amoeba. It's nebula. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. Not going to outsmart me today. Uh, so it looks like they just took like a dandelion silhouette and inserted a nebula picture on there, which are totally awesome. And I, I kind of dig it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, and you know, so it could be a bookmark. So that's pretty cool. So it's saying the bookmark was $4, the postcard was $3 and the tiger button was $3. So that's some simple math. That's $10 on the back, 75, 80. $90 on the other side, so it's $100 worth of stuff that I paid like $25 for, probably more than that because I get the larger sizes of the shirts, which cost a little bit more. But all in all, I'm pretty excited about everything, minus the feather shirt, but I'll probably use it as a sleep shirt because I still like the image, just not that it didn't get printed uh, an appropriate size for the size of the shirt. And I feel like even a small shirt, that would look kind of silly, right? I don't know. Let's take another look at it. Because I... I'm pretty stoked. But I, I'm still mad that I didn't get my Winston the Bear shirt from last month. And then they promised me it would come. Yeah, it's just... It just looks so insignificant on there, doesn't it? It just, it just looks like a little... You know? I don't know. I airbrush t-shirts, so I might, you know, do a little something-something on it to add to it or something. Just because I feel like it's not enough. If it were bigger, I mean, it would totally rock out the shirt, though, I think. And I would tear it up, like, uh, and then I would wear it. Like, whenever I go on my cruises, I would, like, have it one of those torn up t-shirt things. It would be awesome. Anyway, that's all you really wanted to see was me unboxing it, and I'm t pretty excited about it. So, uh, by all means, if you don't mind yeah, every once in a while and not getting all of your shirts, then continue with threaded canvas because it's totally the way to go. Uh, I still like thread canvas and I'll still get them and I think that's all I really wanted to say. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll catch you on the flip side, maybe? Um, no. Scrib, so, so, so. Eh, shnuff, shnuff, shnuff. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, like I said, it's been a really, really, really weird place in my head today. Um, so if you like the video... If you want to see more of this, I feel like I might be the only person on all of YouTube who is unboxing threaded canvas right now. 
correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below if you found somebody else who's doing current ones. I found some that are doing older ones, but nobody else is doing current ones. Is that weird? Am I the only person in the world who's getting these boxes? And if so, why are they slowly getting less and less uh, organized? Uh, but anyway, if you want to see more of them, comment down below, subscribe. I make a lot of different kind of videos, not a whole lot. I get kind of lazy sometimes, like I have over the last weekend. Anyway, uh, stick around if you want to you know, see some more. It's been a great day at Splendid. Hmm. Catch you on the flip side.